lovely people you are welcome to my channel thanks so much for your support today too i'm here to give you a summary of lesson nine that is the sabbath afternoon and the sunday lessons please if you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing and do well to share this video you might win a soul by just sharing this video lesson nine talks about the church and education the church and education our memory test is taken from first thessalonians 2 verses 6 to 8 and i read nor did we see glory from men either from you or from others when we might have made demands as apostles of Christ, but we were gentle among you, just as a nursing mother cherishes her own children. So affectionately longing for you, we were well pleased to impart to you not only the gospel of God, but also our own life because you had become dear to us. Amen. And so when we read the memory test, we see that the apostles were nurturing the church. They nurtured the church. They imparted the knowledge of God in them and also their own story. That is their own life experience. They used it to educate the church. The lesson is saying that when we go into the Bible, whenever God's people meet together, what they do is to learn more, be knowledgeable, question themselves, and then try to understand the word of God for their lives. And so we see that in the early church, the church was a source of education, educating its members every now and then, both physically, spiritually, and mentally. The introduction is also saying that sometimes we fear to ask questions. And so we keep quiet about certain things. But in the Bible, we see that questions were used to bring the minds of people to God and also to explain the Bible to them. Jesus Christ adapted this method where even at a point Jesus Christ asked the disciples, whom do people think that I am? And so through questions and through stories, people attentions are drawn to God and they are able to focus and come to what understand the word of God very well and to know who God is this teaches that we need to allow people to what to question to ask questions in the church we should not um, make people feel they can't talk or they can't question because it's a pastor or because it's an elder no people should be given the room to question when necessary if the church is to be a place of education it must provide the space for genuine dialogue to occur just as we were repeatedly told as students in school there is no damn question we must provide within the church a safe environment for each person to grow in grace and in understanding of god and his plan for their lives amen and so there's no damn question we need to allow people to come out with the questions they have even if they seem to be controversial we need to allow them this will help clear doubts and give more understanding about who god is and his word to us we are moving straight to sunday and the sunday talks about true christian education true christian education we're given a scenario of a teacher who asks the students when do you know the night has ended and the day has begun and the students gave some answers one of them raised their hand and said teacher is it when you know the differences between sheep and goats and another person also raised their hand and said teacher is it when you know the differences between the fig tree and the olive tree several answers and they couldn't get the answer so the teacher had to answer and this is what the teacher said students one knows the night has ended and the day has begun when you can look at a face never before seen and recognize the stranger as a brother or sister until that moment no matter how bright the day it is still the night and so this is the answer the teacher gave to the student which is very deep until we come to realize that everyone is our neighbor there's no one who is a stranger there who doesn't need our help until we realize that people are in need and they need us then we are in darkness night has still not ended for us the lesson gave us luke 10 30 to 37 and the story there is about the samaritan who met someone who has been um, broken and beaten and is there dying and decided to, to give life to that person meanwhile this person this person there 
Pastors came to pass, elders and all the so-called executives in the church passed by. They didn't mind him because they want to attend to God's business. And this Samaritan got there and saw the need to give life to this person. We forget that taking care of God's business includes caring for one another. We tend to be so busy with the work of God that the very things that God is so much concerned about, we neglect them. The lesson also teaches us as Adventists, we have a lot of truths, doctrines that are biblical. We teach them, we can stand out there, preach about the, the, the law of God, the grace, salvation, and all that. We can talk about the book of Revelation, Daniel, and the beast, and all that. And the lesson here is that if we are able to teach all this biblical truth, but we fail to show care and love to each other, then we are in darkness. We have achieved nothing. If we make our environment uncomfortable for others if we make other others feel that they can't come to christ if you don't show that kind of care and love for others then we are failed as christians so true christian education should seek to care for others should seek to teach church members to care and love others and not just biblical knowledge true christian education if nothing else must cause us to rise above this human phobias and evils and see others as christ sees them beings from whom he died beings whose sins he bore on the cross beings for whom he paid an infinite price amen and so true christian education should seek to teach all of us that we are all one everybody is needed before god we all need favor we need to care for each other christ loves all of us and not making us feel that someone is important than the other if we uplift the cross as we must then we will see the value and worth of every human being and ideally treat them as they truly deserve in keeping with the value that god has placed on them christian education must include this teaching or else it is not worthy of the name christian that is it if our christian education cannot educate us for us to know that we are all equal and everybody is important and we need to care for each other then it fails to be a christian education so if our church is failing to instill this knowledge in us and this discipline in us then the church has failed the church is there to educate us physically spiritually mentally in every way so that we all can grow together loving each other caring for each other and seeing everybody just as christ sees all of us thanks so much for being part of today's summary if you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing please do well to share this video you might win a soul by just sharing this video bye bye <music>